you guys uh, end up going to the Cotton Bowl. And I just got to say this because my dad would kill me if I didn't say it because he'd tell you it's his favorite game. It's his most memorable game with the Canes. It was, you know, and and I don't know how you felt about it as a coach. It's still to this day the largest margin of victory in a Cotton Bowl, but it was also 15 penalties, 200 yards, and and Randall Hill going in the tunnel and and all of that, you know, intimidation. What was your thoughts on that game? Is that a game you look at and you're proud, or are you kind of like, man, you know? No, I'm proud, man. I, yeah. <laughs> you know, if you were there during the week, uh, you know, Texas, I think, was uh, ranked number one. You know, we lost to BYU and, and, and Florida State, I think. I can't remember who the second game was. And You know, we were put back and playing in the Super Bowl, which was, we thought was a pretty good deal. And then we were able to play uh, Alabama. And, uh, I mean, it was a big time for us. And, and uh you know, winning that game was really a key. But but when Notre Dame came in there, to make a long story short, that was a, that was the biggest win I'd ever been around. But talking about the losses, the losses, I, I think I'm talking about the right times. But uh, when they came in that first year, second year, and we beat them, you know, to get the, that opportunity, then we beat uh, Texas. In the Cotton Bowl, well, wow, that's not real good for people in Texas. <laughs> it's still, I don't know, just the, the visions of Randall Hill, I, you know, I still see it, and he still talks about it, and, and just those players, it, you know, they, they wanted to send a message. I think that was a game, I, if my memory's right, there was an offensive lineman that made some comments about Russell Maryland, oh, yeah. and Russell oh, Maryland yeah. just tore him up. And then they made some, you know, they made some com- comments about the whole team, and we weren't as good, and they were ranked number one. And yeah. I, the whole the whole week uh, in Dallas was it was just set up perfectly for us because they, they didn't know our kids. Yeah. And you don't you don't deal with our particular program by doing that. It, it never happens at Miami. It's usually the other way around. Yeah. And uh, when they started talking, I said. Wow! Then when we went when we went out and warmed up, I'll never forget it. They ran. They tried to run through our uh, stretching line. I don't know if you remember that or yeah. not, but and I'll tell you what we came in before the game, and I said, "Watch out!" And as soon as the game started, it was over and done with. Actually, I felt sorry for Texas. No, not really, but. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but it was it was a great win, and, and yeah, there were a lot of penalties. And, and all I can tell you about the penalties, we play hard. I mean, that's just how we play. Yeah, I and mean, that wasn't anything different than before. But it was more on a national stage. But it just kind of told everybody that you can't talk like Miami no. and win. <laughs> so and, that's kind of how it was. And, and and to have 200 penalties and still only give up three points, you know, 200 penalty yards, uh, that just shows you how dominating, you know, that defense and that team was. And, you know, you look sure. at it, it, you know, easily, arguably, you know, you're going to, you know, those years, you, you know, you probably could have three national champions. But 